construction, playability, pros and cons, etc. And I will end with a little plan. First of all, what is the Ibanez AUP 10N? Is it a ukulele? A piccolo guitar? Essentially, it's a ukulele with six strings. So let's talk about construction. So it's a tender body. Ukuleles have different sizes. They're soprano, concert, tenor, baritone. I measured this one from about to top of the peghead, and it's about 27 and a half inches. So let's talk about the width. The top is spruce. The back and sides is rounded out from a single piece of wood, Paulonia. I think I'm gonna call this Yuki Prince Joey. Anybody that knows me knows I'm like all things tiny. The neck is Okumi, it's from Central Africa, it's lightweight, it has good sustain. The fretboard and bridge are purple heart. The bridge is double hold. This eliminates the need to bend the strings or tie a knot. This helps maintain correct string tension and enhances tuning stability. This comes with a booklet that shows you how to properly replace the strings. This instrument has 19 frets. The fret ends are not smooth but this does not affect playability whatsoever. One of the nice things about this instrument is that the nut and saddle are made out of bone, and the saddle is actually a compensated saddle. This instrument is tuned A to A, like a regular guitar capoed at the fifth fret. A, D, G, C, E, A. The tuners are black, die cast. Cool things about this instrument it has a beveled cutaway, which gives you easier access to the higher frets. Instead of a traditional sound hole, you have two sound ports, one on the bottom, one on the top of the waist. This part of the instrument is elevated. This keeps your arm from dampening, touching the top when you play. Just rest on here. It has an open pour satin finish, which is actually quite nice. Feels very smooth, non-sticky. Over time, I think I've, I've grown to like the satin finishes quite a bit. This instrument has an engraved Ibanez logo. Cool. It has a wood truss rod cover. Nice. Also comes with the Allen wrench. Comes with a nice end pen in case you want to attach a strap. Here's the gig bag, soft. Definitely padded, a little flimsy. Before I get to the pros and cons, please like and subscribe my channel. This is actually the first review ever that I've made, so it might be a little sterile, a little stiff. Hopefully I'll get better with time, and hopefully I can develop a following. Alright, so for the pros. First of all, this is a very nice looking instrument. It's easy on the eyes. A lot of thought, time went into designing and making this instrument. Very modern looking. This is quality construction, it's smooth lines, very nice work. I've worked on the instruments before so I can tell that. Um, you got your fret markers that I missed. The finish, I love the satin finish. I think it protects the instrument without being overbearing. Feels really, really nice. Excellent portability. You can take this thing anywhere and everywhere. One of the reasons why I got this instrument is for the portability. Um, so when I go visit my family in the East Coast, I can take a six instrument with me without having to lug a huge guitar around. As far as playability goes, I think it plays really well and has a really nice setup. The instrument 
is made to play in tune. Bone nut, compensated saddle, doesn't get much better than that. The instrument has a very pleasing tone, very nice resonance. You can hear those frequencies. sustain. I can feel the vibrations. The price point is excellent for the quality of instrument. It is. $299 MSRP, street price $199 for an instrument like this. Not bad. Okay, the cons. So the first thing I really don't like about it is the gig bag. The gig bag is really flimsy. Not much padding. It's counterproductive to uh, one of the main reasons why I got this instrument, which is for its uh, portability. There's no option with a pickup, at least at this point in time. Some of the things that I try playing on it, because it's a small, smaller scale instrument, my fingers are kind of crowded. But things like that you can adjust for, work out different fingerings, you know, whatnot. To obtain warranty services for this instrument, it must be sent to uh, Pennsylvania through an authorized uh, Ibanez dealer. So if you have any issues with this thing, having to go through that process would be pretty tedious, time consuming. That being said, this instrument is built really well and I can't anticipate any issues at this point in time. All right, so that's about it. Any questions, comments, uh, please send my way. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Mm -hmm.